Hello, my name is Taneli. I'm R&D manager here at Nammo Vihtavuori. We're today at the uh, Nammo Shooting Center at Vihtavuori, one of the most interesting places uh, here in our factory and our testing facilities. And I have my colleague here today. Yes. Hello, my name is Meri. I'm R&D engineer here at Vihtavuori. One topic that could be interesting uh, to many, many of our powder users is when to choose uh, powder which is from the 100 series or from the 500 series, uh, which is the better in which situation? Do you want to start with the 500 since you're holding the <laughs> yes. can? <laughs> yes, so the 500 series powders contains nitroglycerin, which is the main difference between these two, sp two powder types. So nitroglycerin content in these 500 series powders, it brings more energy to the powder and which helps with the heavier bullets etc. Yeah, and the difference to the 100 series powders is of course that they don't have the NGL nitroglycerin, uh, so they are basically single base powders, still very very uh, useful in many many different applications, uh, but a little less energy content in the powder. Yes, so when you are looking for higher velocity or, or longer range shooting, then you pick 500 series. Yeah, and I would say that the 100 series I have here, one of our standard uh, 100 series powders, uh, 140. Uh, so if you want to use these, uh, then you could be, for example, a bench rest shooter looking for the optimal or the maximum lot-to-lot -lot consistency. Uh, that's something that you can get uh, the best lot-to-lot -lot consistency you can get from the 100 series powders, but that doesn't mean that the 500 series would be bad in that sense. They are definitely very good still, mm. uh, but uh, if you're looking for the maximum in that property, then, mm. then maybe the 100 series is, is your choice. Also, one point when you want to choose 500 series is when you are shooting in different temperatures. As for the nitroglycerin and other compositions in the 500 series makes the 500 series a little bit more stable in different temperatures. Yeah, that's correct. Uh, and maybe another advantage of the 100 series is that uh, uh, it has even wider variety of different products in that series. So it's going from a very fast burning uh, powder uh, to a very slow burning powder. Um, whereas the 500 series is, uh, is a little more uh, to the slower burning powders. It mm. still has some uh, fast burning options, but not as fast as the 100 series. The cost of this uh, powder series uh, it's reasonable for both, of course, <laughs> but uh, the 500 series uh, is a little more complicated to make, so it costs a little bit more. So in any case, if you have no preference, then, or if there's no need for 500 series, then you can do with 100 series powders. But the personal preferences <laughs> are very important, we understand that, so if you just like to use the 500 series, then go for it. Yes.